Hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is the 78th part of what if Deku was Sanji's reincarnation, my heroes reborn, the author of this great fan if I see is M. Ivoli links to them and original story in the description. Chapter 78, Hibiki now knows. The Nomas were rounded up thankfully before they could regain consciousness. However all of the classes of the students who were taken were in shock. Katsuki and Achiko were in the worst shape. But the class of 1A were also in bad shape. But still their classmate was taken in a surprise attack, not to mention it was their strongest classmate, which was horrible now that Katsuki remembered his past life, but still. Look. I know you're worried but he's still alive. Said Aiko, they didn't take the transceiver away from him, they knocked him out with knockout gas but he is alive, and safeish. What the fuck does that mean? Asked Katsuki. He and the rest of the ones kidnapped were left alone. Said Aiko, and Kirojiri and someone with Kirojiri left them alone. Why would they do that? Asked Momo. They outright said they were being used as bait. Said Aiko, don't know if they were aware I was there, but right now they're not completely safe, but they okay. You'll tell us if you have any news. Said Katsuki who looked like he wanted to kill something. Of course I will. Don't worry. Any news, good or bad I will inform you. Said Aiko. All of class 1A looked unsure. I'm a snarky bitch yes, but this is serious and you need to know. Said Aiko. Plus it would give them less of an incentive to run off and handle it themselves. I Island was an exception to the whole, the adults can't do it so we have to thing. They were being held captive and they were the only ones free to do anything. This time there would be a ton of heroes that could rescue them so they shouldn't really get involved. At the same time, All Might, Aizawa, Hibiki and Mizjoke were talking. Aiko informed them of the situation with the five students. That they were still alive, they were technically safe at the moment, adept trapped in a room with no windows or doors. So they're trying lure in someone. Said Ms. Joke, but who? All Might started to cough nervously. Seriously? Asked Ms. Joke. Izuku was All Might protege. Said Hibiki, so he was taken for that reason. The other four students were probably chosen at random. Said Aizawa, I'm sorry. It's fine. The most important thing to deal with is rescuing them. Said Ms. Joke. You're right. Said Hibiki. I plan to rescue them. Said All Might. None them of were all that surprised by his declaration. Plus sending you will get the kids from doing anything rash. Said Hibiki. I promised to keep them updated to make sure they didn't try to rescue him on their own but I don't know how long it will last. Said Aiko. Aiko. Said Hibiki, if they ask for it do not give them his location. Yay. I don't have to lie to them saying you ordered me not to give it to them. Said Aiko. You were planning to lie them if they asked? Asked Ms. Jope with a sweat drop. Hey. Even I know that all but three of them would just get in the way. Said Aiko, but the fact that the three that wouldn't get in the way are three of the most invested, yeah it's a bad combination. Hibiki sighed at his AI. She had a point, but still. I think that orchestra rave should accompany me. Said All Might. Hibiki looked at the number one hero, then at Aizawa figuring it had something to do with his hero time. It's a good idea to have backup said Hibiki. Let's go. Said All Might. Already? Asked Ms. Joke surprised. Your stu student is among those kidnapped. Said Aizawa. I know, but I didn't think that they would leave right now without a plan. Said Ms. Joke. We'll plan on the way there. Said All Might. Here. Said Hibiki giving Ms. Joke an earpiece. It's your student, you need updates. He then took out three more earpieces and gave them Aizawa. Give there to the other students' teachers, this way Aiko can keep them updated as well. The armor arrived and Hibiki put it on. Let's go! Said All Might. Hibiki nodded and flew off after him. Spotlight Heroes. 
sighed Ms. Joke rolling her eyes. Aizawa just nodded. Meanwhile with All Might and Hibiki, the two landed on a rooftop and All Might reverted to his true form. Both of them knew that All Might needed to rest. Habiki once again left his armor knowing that he needed to talk along with resting. There's something I need to tell you. Said All Might. You know why they were kidnapped, and it wasn't just being used for bait. Said Hibiki. All Might nodded. The original plan was to have young Midoriya to tell you, but it never even crossed my mind that something like this could happen. Said All Might. What are you hiding? Asked Hibiki. All Might took a breath. Young Midoriya lied about being a late bloomer. Said All Might. What? Asked Hibiki, that doesn't make any sense. Oh what the fuck? Yelled Aiko who came to the wrong conclusion. All Might knew what conclusion she came up with. Aiko he's not the one who gave him the quirk. Said All Might. What are you talking about? Yelled Hibiki horribly confused, damn it. Did I forgot something again? No, it's something discovered without you and never told you because I promised All Might I wouldn't tell unless you figured out I was hiding something big from you and you made me tell. Said Aiko. Oh. Said Hibiki, wait what? It involves the man who injured me. Said All Might. All right lay it on me. Said Hibiki. All Might explained everything about one for all in his quirk. So wait, wait, if he wasn't the who gave Azuku his quirk, who did? Said Hibiki. Me. Said All Might. Okay, okay, you might want to back up a bit. Said Hibiki. All Might sighed. You see All for One had a younger brother. Said All Might. All Might told Hibiki all about the younger brother and the quirk that he passed down. Needless to say he was shocked and horrified learning the truth. Of course the combination of the news happening just when Izuku was kidnapped. Are you serious? Yelled Hibiki, are you serious? I am, my injury isn't the only reason why I'm losing time, it's because young Midoriya has the quirk. Explained All Might. Habiki just was just pacing trying to get everything together. Who knows? Asked Habiki. Just a handful of people. Said All Might, the ones that you know are Nizu, Recovery Girl, and Gran Torino. Of course Nizu knows, and not surprised about Gran Torino. Said Habiki. Also Detective Tsukachi and my old sidekick Sir Night Eye. Said All Might, also young Bakugo knows. He only found out recently. Guest Aiko. Sort of. Said All Might, young Midoriya gave him the basics before the USJ but the night of the reassessment, he finally asked for confirmation for everything, comma. Hibiki wasn't sure how to really react to this, after all Izuku only just received the quirk, hadn't even had it for a year. Not to mention the dangerous villain, not the worst villain he had ever had to deal with in either life, but still a bad one. However Aiko knew what to say. You know, if All Might didn't do that there is a chance that we wouldn't even know Izuku or Achiko. Said Aiko. Hibiki was going to say something but then realized due to the way Izuku was treated unless he somehow remembered his past life or the two of them had met somehow and he took Izuku under his wing he would have doubted that Izuku would have passed the exam. Okay you have a point about Izuku, but what about Achiko? Said Hibiki. You haven't seen the footage of the exam, have you? Asked Aiko. I have not. Said Hibiki. They saved each other. Said All Might, young Yuraraka got trapped and was almost crushed by the Zero Pointer. He saved her but ended up falling from a great height and she saved him back. He wrecked it didn't it? Asked Hibiki. He did. Said All Might. The point I'm trying to make is don't be too angry about everything about this, because for all we know Mineta could have been the one hit instead of Izuku or Achiko, and I think we both agree it's better to not know what his past life was like. Said Aiko. Hibiki shuddered. Good point. He said. Look there's no change in the situation. Said Aiko. I need to rest a bit longer. Said All Might. 
and you need to get your shit together. Said Aiko. Still what made you think it was a good idea to give the quirk to a kid? Asked Hibiki. I thought I killed all for one. Said All Might. Okay, that's a good point. Said Hibiki. All Might nodded. The two of them both rested either mentally or physically for the fight ahead. After all it was clear that once they went to the rescue, All for One would be waiting for All Might. Back with Class 1A. Aizawa had just finished a phone call. As you heard. Said Aizawa, there are other Nomo attacks like this one in other locations. As you all have received your licenses has been decided that you're all going to all help out. Will I get to fight them? Asked Katsuki. Aizawa groaned. We'll see when you get there. Muttered Aizawa. It was more than likely that he would be one of the ones to fight Inomu. Still this was only just beginning. And thankfully there would be other heroes helping out, after all this wasn't the only place that the Nomu were attacking. That will be it for this part. I hope everyone enjoyed if you did please leave a like and comment if you want part 79. If you want to hear more from me subscribe I hope to see you all in the next one.